we're going to do three point perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my vanishing points at the very top corners and one at the bottom. Before I told you I'd like to draw these lines here, these kind of guidelines, it's not really a horizon line, but it's some guidelines because outside of this little triangle that I have, the perspective is done a little bit differently. So I'd like to have those just to kind of um, remind me that um, it's done a little bit differently outside there. I'm gonna start by drawing a line to the very bottom point. And just like two point perspective, I'm gonna draw back to my vanishing points. Now remember that if I put my uh, vertical line really close to these lines here, it's gonna skew it a little bit more. A lot of my students say, okay, it doesn't look quite right. And I usually just tell them that it's by your horizon line, so it might skew it a little bit. It's not a big deal, it's okay. Now I'm gonna draw the sides here back to the vanishing point down here. Okay, and I wanna draw my top lines right here. So I have my box right there. Okay, um, let's draw another box right inside here. And remember when you do this, you don't have to draw them completely separate. What if I wanna draw it and I want it to be bigger? Maybe I want it to be behind this box right here. So let's do that. Let's make it behind this box. We'll make it bigger. So I'm gonna draw the corner. Draw back. To the vanishing points just like two point perspective. And if I'm going too fast for you, you know, pause the video and then come back and look at it. And um, I'll try to go pretty quick. So if you're good at this, you can do it pretty quickly. And if not, you can always pause it and come back. Okay, so this one here is gonna be behind this box here. You see how that's working out? Now, if you wanna draw like a row of buildings, you could do it this way. You know that you're looking down at the buildings. Let's fix up that line right there. Okay, so I've got two there and I'm going to draw another letter. Let's go ahead and make it outside of this little triangle. Okay, and let's go ahead and draw. Now we're going to draw from the vanishing point backward on this. Right this way. From the vanishing point over here backward. There we go. I'm gonna draw these up to this vanishing point right here. And this vanishing point right there. Okay, and I wanna draw my sides real quick. We'll just let these go right off the paper. Okay, and I wanna draw this side over here. Okay, I'm gonna draw it right there, it's fine. And then I wanna draw the top. You see, I've got the top, and I'm going to line up this point to this point and draw backward. Okay, so I've got some boxes here to work with, and I want to go ahead and draw my letters in these boxes. So let's go ahead and draw one. I'm going to start right here with, um, let's do a P. That's the back of my P. Line this up here, make the top portion come over here, and I can make the middle portion. Okay, and I want to make like the little angles. Remember, we're just drawing block letters. I could do curved lines, but that is a different animal, and I really don't want to do that right now. I don't I think it would confuse you more. 
So let's just stay away from that for now. Okay, so I've got my P there. And I can get rid of some of these lines because we don't need them. Now you'd want to do a good job erasing these. I'm drawing this rather dark because I need to make sure that you can see it. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so there's a P. Um, let's do, um, let's do a Z over here. We haven't done a Z before. So I'm going to make the Z right here. There's the top of the Z. Let's draw the bottom down here. There's the bottom of the Z. Okay. And so now we have to draw like an angle. I'm going to put a little mark here where I want to start, I think. That looks pretty good. You know, I really don't like how it goes at this point. I think we're gonna leave it for now. I think it'll be fine. Maybe the next time I'll do it a little differently. Now look how much it's skewed. The reason why it's skewed is because of its placement, its perspective. And that's that's okay, so don't worry about that. It's you know, sometimes the perspective, you're really close to the horizon line. In this case, these lines right here, um, it will skew it a bit. And it's okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay, so, so there's my Z. Now let's draw another letter here. And uh, let's draw a D. Okay, so there's the back of my D. There's the front of my D. There's the top. And then let's draw the bottom here, line this up with the point. Oh, moving my ruler all around. Okay, let's draw the angle, and then let's say you can't see the angle over here, so we can't draw it. Okay, so let's just erase a few lines so you don't get confused. Okay, that will help out. We got Z, P, and D. Now we have to make them uh, in three-point perspective. We've already got this line going back and this line going back. Let's get this one right here. really noisy in the classroom today. I think they're doing a presentation. Okay, so there's the part of the Z. I drew all the corners back to this point. Remember, not drawing through the letter. You don't want to draw this one through the letter. This one you can draw, this one, this one, this one here. Okay, we have to draw the back portion of the Z. So let's make the Z a really thin Z really thin one. Okay, so that's the back right there, the Z. If I were to follow this up, am I giving my mark for this next one? Look how it gets bigger as it's coming towards you. That's a, you know, that's what perspective is. You know, it, as it comes closer, it's bigger, and when it recedes, it's smaller. Okay, so Let's finish up that Z right here, and okay. So there's our Z. We can erase these lines, and we're good to go. Okay, let's do the P. We already have this one right here, so let's draw this corner. We're just drawing it back to the point. And we'll draw this corner back to the point. Okay, we're going to draw this one. Remember, if you can line them up and draw them, draw them. We cannot draw this one because we'd be drawing through that. We cannot draw that one, but we can draw this one. We don't want to draw through the letter. Don't do that. We can also draw one right in here. Of all the corners, can't draw this one, this one, or this one, but we can draw that one right there. So let's get that one in there. Okay. 
So let's make this P um, also kind of thin. Let's start at the top. It's easy to start at the top. I'm going to go ahead and back to the vanishing point. This one here is one of the ones that don't go to the vanishing point. So you keep it parallel. Okay, just like we did with the Z, we kept that parallel. This one does go to the vanishing point. Just think if they're vertical lines, they will go to the vanishing point. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and get the inside of the P there. It will go to the vanishing point also. So the vanishing point right here, to that vanishing point. And then this corner here is gonna go down to this vanishing point. Generally think of it this way, unless you have an angled line like this or this, they're gonna to go to one of the vanishing points. And if you think of it that way, you'll remember that I've gotta draw a line somewhere, which where do I have to draw it? Generally, it's to a vanishing point, so think of it that way. I'm probably going to a vanishing point unless it's an angled line. Okay, so now we've got our P there. You can see it right there. Erase a few lines, and we could erase it better. It would be better. Okay, let's do the D. D is going to be pretty easy because it's almost done. We'll make this one also kind of thin. I'm not really worried about keeping these consistent because, you know, I'm the artist and I can do whatever I want, right? So I'm drawing back to this vanishing point here. Okay, so there's the top of the D. Now, on the inside here, we can draw these points back. I didn't draw this one back yet. That's the only one I really can get. I can't draw this one. I'd be drawing the letter. I can't get that one. These are, <clears throat> you can't see those. Can't get this one. This one's already done. This one's already done. So let's go ahead and just draw the inside here and we'll be almost done okay this one doesn't look quite as good it's just not as interesting maybe I shouldn't have done a D but it still gives you an idea of how it should be done Okay, so that is the inside. Yep, this is done with a little bit of racing and cleaning up. It would be done and finished. Um, I would never draw this dark if I were drawing it. I never tell my students to draw this dark, but I have to kind of draw it dark so that you can see it. That way you could erase all these lines and not have it look so dirty. Okay, it doesn't look like it's crafted very well when you have these dark lines that you can't get rid of. So my suggestion is draw up super, super light and then come back and go over the main lines again. Don't do it like this because it, it will look just a lot better if you do it the other way. Okay, next time what I'd like to do is I would like to do like an object. I was thinking about doing a chair in perspective. So maybe a one point perspective chair or a table or something like that. I'm gonna do that next time. So I will see you later. Make sure you get that uh, subscription button clicked um, and ring that bell they say and uh, or ring that subscription i don't know what it was something like that kids keep on telling me i keep on forgetting okay do that and then you will be able to see the next video i will see you next time